ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರೇಷನ್ ಬೈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಬ್ರಾಂಚಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲ್ಯಾಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಇಂಟಿಗ್ರಲ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಬೈ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸಮ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾನ್ಸ್ ನೌ integral of x square e to the power of x dx when we have to apply the biparts when two different functions involved check it here x square is one function e to the power of x is another function there is no relation this is the algebraic this is the exponential into is there that's why we can apply biparts what is the formula for the biparts here first function into integral of second function dx minus integral of d by dx of first function into integral of second function dx whole dx since two functions are there we are choosing one function as the first function and second another is the second function here only problem will come which function we have to choose as a first function next one is what second function is what if you find first function automatically second will be the second function for that reason i will tell you some trick here first function is what x square differentiate it x square differentiation is how much 2x again differentiate it 2x differentiation is 2 again differentiate it constant differentiation is 0 which function is reducing into the 0 while continuing the differentiation that function is first function automatically second one is the second function <coughs> Now, we are applying in the formula. What is the first function here? x square into integral of e to the power of x dx minus integral of <coughs> differentiation of first function x square integral of second function that is e to the power of x dx whole dx. We will write the formula for that. x square e to the power of x integration is e to the power of x only. This part integration is over minus integral of differentiation of x square is how much? 2x into integral of e to the power of x is e to the power of x only dx. Then after we can write these two outside x square e to the power of x minus 2 into integral of x into e to the power of x dx. Again two functions involved means one side one side one time you have to apply the by parts again. Now writing x square e to the power of x minus 2 into same formula first function into integral of second function dx minus integral of d by dx of first function into integral of e to the power of x second function into dx now whole dx write it here x square into e to the power of x minus 2 into x into e to the power of x minus integral of 1 into e to the power of x dx. Mega. 
x square e to the power of x open this bracket with minus 2 minus 2x into e to the power of x minus into minus less 2 into integral of e to the power of x is e to the power of x since integration completed you have to write integral constant c this is the long process after that we are showing e to the power of x common then closely observe that sum x square minus 2x plus 2 close the bracket plus c here you can find some shortcut what is the shortcut just i am telling here i am writing here shortcut e to the power of x keep it outside now other than e to the power of x what is the function involved in that x square start with x square x square alternate plus minus you have to keep since the first value is plus you have to keep negative x square differentiation is 2x since it is the negative keep plus 2x differentiation is 2 plus c this is so simple shortcut next we will take one more example of the same thing shortcut apply e to the power of x x cube into e to the power of 4x integral of dx will take now what we have to do whether it is x or 4x or 5x or 6x the part e to the power of 4x you must keep it outside what is the balance after that x cube write x cube by coefficient of e to the power of x is 4 not right next tool is common since it is the plus you have to keep minus x cube differentiation is how much 3x square by 4 square not right next plus 3x square differentiation is how much 6x by 4 cube minus 6 by 4 to the power of 4 plus c shortcut over like that you can do now i am taking a big trick sum e to the power of ax into sin dx dx integral here we don't have any chance to apply the trick e to the power of take it common take, take it and differentiate it 100 times but that won't come to the zero take sin bx differentiate it 100 times that won't come to the zero in that particular condition what we have to take for that one order given this is the order i means inverse trigonometric functions not there in the sum l logarithmic functions that also not there in the sum next one a algebraic function not there in the sum next one t trigonometric function as it is there sin bx is trigonometric function only next one, e e means exponential function yes e to the power of x is exponential function in the sum trigonometry and an exponential functions to and in uh, involved first one t for that reason first function we can choose it as sin bx automatically second function is e to the power of ax again we should apply in the same formula that is first function sin bx into integral of e to the power of ax dx minus integral of d by dx of first function sin bx into integral of e to the power of ax dx that is the second function whole dx are to have to keep now generally we are choosing this function as i this one 
LHS is also I only. Now, what is the LHS to this step is also I only. Now, sin Bx e to the power of Ax integration is e to the power of Ax by A minus integral of differentiation of sin Bx. For that, two times you have to differentiate it d by dx of sin bx into d by dx of bx. Then d by dx of sin, a, sin bx integration or differentiation is cos bx into bx differentiation is b into e to the power of ax integration is e to the power of ax by a. Inner differentiation over the integration over for that reason we are keeping dx outside. Here check it b a one is there in the numerator one is there in the denominator you can take out common then what is the lhs to this that also i why it is i already we assume the total given sum is i now write it here e to the power of ax into sin bx whole by a minus we are writing b by a outside. Then rearranging the sum e to the power of ax into cos dx dx. Again, we have to apply integration by parts, integration by parts here. Integration by parts here. Now, as we discussed, what is the lectures to this? I only. Well, now come to this one. As we discussed, first function is trigonometric, second function is exponential. We are applying the same formula e to the power of ax into sin bx by a minus b by a into first function into integral of second function dx minus integral of d by dx of first function into integral of second function dx whole dx. What is the LHS to this one? Again, I only e to the power of ax into sin bx by a minus b by a into cos bx e to the power of ax e to the power of ax integration is cos bx into e to the power of ax by a <coughs> minus integral of differentiation of cos bx how much differentiation of cos x equal to minus sin x you know another one that way minus b sin bx into e to the power of ax by a into dx. Then again, what is the LHS to this again? I only know e to the power of ax into sin bx whole by a. Just we are opening the bracket with minus b by a. Here minus b by a, here minus b by a is there. In the first denominator a is there. If you multiply minus b by a square e to the power of ax into cos bx. This minus into this minus becomes plus. Plus into inside one more minus is there that is minus. Here b by a is common. One more b by a you are multiplying with minus b by a. That was b square by a square 
integral of v to the power of ax into sin dx dx. Already we assumed this as i. Correct? Substituted here. We are writing i. e to the power of ax into sin dx by a minus v by a square e to the power of ax cos dx minus b square by a square into i. Now transfer this minus b square by a square into i to the LHS. Then that will be i plus b square by a square i equal to e to the power of ax sin dx by a minus b by a square e to the power of ax cos bx. Now taking i common here then 1 is the balance plus b square by a square is the balance in the second place equal to here we are finding LCM that is a square here a into e to the power of ax into sin bx minus b into e to the power of ax into cos bx. Now find LCM and LHS also. a square LCM here a square plus b square. I am taking e to the power of ax common. Then after what is the balance in the bracket? a sin bx minus b cos bx whole by a square. You know we can cancel a square on both sides. Now Therefore, i equal to e to the power of ax by a square plus b square into a sin bx minus b cos bx. There ends the sum. Intermediate students definitely have to e apply each and every step. Whereas in the in engineering students, you can apply directly. Here, this particular bypass can be helpful in the Laplace transformations, triple integrals, and so on. In the next video, I will try to do the Laplace transformations. Thank you.